Previously, I made this connector for my 60 volt power tool battery. Today, we'll put it to the test to both of my electric scooter and my electric bike. Let's get started. First is my electric scooter. This is originally a 24 volt electric scooter. I upgraded with a 48 volt controller. I was using it with two 24 volt battery packs connected in series. Now I'm using the same controller to run on this 60 volt battery, which might be a little bit over voltage. So to make sure it doesn't burn out my controller, I removed the cover and pick inside the controller. You can see the capacitors on these are rated at 63 volts. This is a 15S battery pack and when fully charged, it's exactly 63 volts. So I'm really pushing this controller to its maximum limit. Rev up your engine! Woo, woo, woo. I'm just kidding. It doesn't do that. Gotta turn this on. Yeah. We are on. Ready to go. With the 48 volt battery pack, in my last test, I was able to get to 27 miles per hour. In this test, with this 60 volt battery, I can get up to 28 miles per hour. It's about the same speed even though the battery is at a much higher voltage. I think the reason why I can't run any faster is because the controller has a speed limiter that only limits the motor to certain RPM and therefore it's not going to go any faster despite the fact that the battery has a high voltage. But there's one significant difference when running on a higher voltage pack. The acceleration is a lot faster. It takes me much less time to accelerate to top speed compared to the lower voltage battery. And when it's accelerating, I have to really feather the throttle to prevent it from lifting the front wheel up because there's so much torque. Now it's time to test and see how much power this thing consumes. I use a fluke clamp meter to measure the current going through the wire when the scooter is running at full throttle. When I first throttle it up, the maximum current is 33 amps. When it adds cruising speed, at full throttle, the continuous current is about 20 amps. So if you do the math, that's about 2000 watts maximum and about 1200 watts continuous. And this controller is only rated at 1000 watt, so I'm actually pushing over the limit of this controller. The motor surprisingly runs just fine. I guess it doesn't melt down because the controller already limits the top speed so it doesn't go any faster. Now it's time to test on my electric bike. This bike also has a 48 volt controller. This controller is a bit different than the electric scooter controller. It is a brushless controller and it is about twice the size of the scooter controller. This brushless controller originally came with the e-bike kit with the hub motor. And just like the electric scooter, I originally used a Copa Cobalt 24 volt battery pack to run this bike. The maximum voltage out of this pack is about 50 volts. So to make sure it doesn't burn up my controller, I open it up and peek inside. And again, the capacitors are rating at the same 63 volts. So now with a 60 volt battery pack, again, I'm pushing the limit of this controller. Now let's do a test run.
So as you can see, this time on this e-bike, I was able to get to 35 miles per hour. Previously, with the 48 volt battery pack, I only got it up to about 30 miles per hour. So this is significantly faster. Now let's do another run, and this time I'm going to use a fluke amp meter to measure how much power this thing consumes. So as you can see, it went up to 26 amp max and about 18 amp continuous. If you do the math, that's about 1500 watt max and 1000 watt continuous. And this controller is rated at 1000 watts. So I guess I'm right at the top limit of this controller. And because this motor is a brushless motor, over voltage is not really a big deal because it doesn't produce as much heat as a brush motor. So I think 60 volt battery will work just fine on this bike. So overall, it was a successful test on both of my electric scooter and my electric bike. But I've got to say, if you want to do this, do it at your own risk because of two reasons. Number one, it might burn out your controller because of over voltage. Number two, running at this speed is extremely dangerous, especially on that Razer electric scooter. I was really struggling to get control of the wheel as there was so much torque at the back wheel of the scooter. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.